What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys 8 different things that you didn't know about MX Bikes. This is going to be from things like in the files, like uncapping your FPS or even making your replay length longer, to stuff in game, like removing shadows or even moving your camera around. So let's start with the first one. first one is one which I believe most of you will know. But it's a weird one that no one really does. If you press shift and V, you can move your your third person camera left and right, like reflex back in the day in the user cam. And it makes it incredibly hard to play, but it's kind of cool. So once you're done playing around with this camera, you can press shift V and then the up and down arrow at the same time and it'll reset back to center. So number two, you can have multiple trainers in testing. So this is my Lobble trainer, and this is one of my older times. And you can put all of these on at the same time if you have them saved. And to do that, you can just press save trainer once you've on your lap. So now you'll see four trainers. Yeah, and you can have a whole race by yourself. So another cool trick I've learned over time is if you know the password to a race before the server's up, you can have the password pre-typed down here and then you can start refreshing the page until the server appears and as soon as you see that server appear you can join it. The second you join it, like you, you get first gate pick if you're first in the server so you can go wherever you want and it'll make getting starts and whole shots so much easier. Alright guys, here's another one. So if you go to your mods folder and go to profiles, main, or whatever profile you would have in there, what you use, profile.ini, and then scroll down to this one, map shadow disable. If it's not there, you'd have to type it. I will leave it pasted in the description. But if you change this number to one, and then load into the game and go to a track what has shadows like Washington, all the shadows will be gone. It does make some tracks look really weird, but if there's a shadow on a track which is annoying you, like where you can't see a rat, you can just get rid of it with this. Remember to save it. Right, number seven. So when you're playing the game and you have Task Manager open and you're watching your graphics card do almost nothing, like only when it's sitting on like 60% rather than going all the way up to like 80 or 90%. If you come over to Steam, go find bikes, manage, browse local files, go to core.ini and then make a space below the last one here and add frame rate. I will also be posting this in the description. Frame rate cap zero when you load the game your fps will be able to go well it'll be unlimited so you won't get bottlenecked by the game pretty much so as you can see even on the base screen the garage screen my bikes is using 80 percent so this will continue whilst i'm playing like on all the different tracks and online when for some reason your gpu likes to use less when it should be using more so hopefully this will keep you guys on a more consistent fps really get the most out of your graphics cards all right number eight so if we go back into steam library mx bikes browse local files if you come down to rider.pkz and open it with raw you can see inside it and all the models you can change out the base model so like my helmets it will say default here if you delete default and then add in the helmet what you want you will not see the proboso helmet anymore when you have when you don't have someone else's helmet and you can do the same with boots sadly it doesn't work with paints and that's one we don't want it to work with so we didn't see people just wearing completely black gear anymore but that's all we can do so far well i hope you guys learned something i hope you all enjoyed but that is me signing off i'll see you guys later